think uh, I, I got to get running. Yeah. I got to find some memory cards for my camera. Oh, nice. Yeah, so, <laughs> which I don't even know why I'm coming here. They're cheap on Amazon, but I need it today. <laughs> Going to do some photography later. Oh, awesome. So, Very yeah. Cool. Um, we, should, uh, we should go to Stoff's and then hit the book loft afterwards sometime. Okay. Grab some coffee, walk around all... 140 rooms or whatever it is yeah, at the book loft. Yeah, 132 or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Would you be down for that? Yeah, we can do that. Okay, cool. Yeah. I mean, I just, I don't know. I just think you're really pretty, oh, to be thank honest. You. So, yeah. Here, pop your number in here and, uh, yeah, there you go. Now, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but it is pouring rain and I am risking thousands of dollars of camera equipment to deliver you this message and I don't give a f. Yo, what's going on dudes? It's me, Aaron, back with another video here on the Evolution Daily YouTube channel. And in this video, I'm going to be breaking down three principles for you. First off, I'm gonna give you the formula to getting better with women. Secondly, I'm going to explain to you why you're not utilizing the formula right now to get better with women. And three, I'm gonna tell you how to start utilizing this formula. It all begins right now. Now, first off, if you're brand new here, I want you to smash that subscribe button. I'm dropping fire each and every single week. And I also want you to head over to evolutiondaily.com and check out my brand new podcast, The Aaron Alexander Experience. I'm releasing brand new episodes each and every Sunday for your earballs to enjoy. Now, here is the formula to getting better with women in the long term. One, consistency. And two, positive personal development. I hear so often, I'm focused on the gym and career right now, so I'm not really focused on going out and meeting women. I'm focused on making money. I'm focused on my purpose, so I'm not going out and meeting women. If you do not have the drive within you to be both personally developing yourself and also going out and talking to women, then maybe the game isn't for you. Maybe you're just doomed to be an incel for the rest of your life. Now, if you're watching this video right now, I would hope that you would never, ever accept that for yourself. If you are consistently going out and meeting women, consistently going out and talking to women, plus positively, personally developing yourself, something is going to happen. If you are consistently approaching women, and again, growing as a man, then something positive is going to come of this. Now, I'm going to explain to you, that sounds simple, right? I get it, Aaron. Keep growing as a man. Focus on my finances, focus on the gym, focus on developing my mind, working on strengthening my core confidence. Now, I understand to do that while going out and approaching women. Here's the deal. It's not that easy because a lot of you watching this video right now, you're not doing it. And if it's so simple, then why are you not doing it? Which leads me to part two of this video, which is why you're not following this very simple and easy to follow formula. And the reason why is because right now, the rejections are destroying you. You've watched my videos. You've decided, all right, I'm going to go out and I'm going to give this a try. And then what do you do? You dabble. You dabble around every once in a while. You decide, you know what, next Saturday I'm going to go out. You go out next Saturday, you stand around, and you don't really approach that much. And if you do get the balls up to go up and approach and the girl's not into you, then again, it absolutely destroys you. And so again, you don't have the tenacity and the drive to keep going because you don't even see the end goal. You don't even see the possibility for yourself. You don't think to yourself, I could actually get good with women and the rejections destroy you. And you, you, you funnel these rejections into your self narrative of who you are as a man and you say to yourself, well, if this hot blonde didn't like me and that hot blonde didn't like me, well then you know what? I'm not really worth anything. And the rejections are destroying you. Now that's part two. That's why you're not staying consistent while positively personally developing yourself. So part three, how to stay consistent while positively, personally developing yourself is to not 
allow the rejections to destroy you. Now, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but it is pouring rain, and I am risking thousands of dollars of camera equipment to deliver you this message, and I don't give a fuck. I'm willing to gamble here. I'm willing to deliver this message because this is powerful. Now, how do you stop the, the rejections from destroying you? How do you have them not affect your self-esteem to such an absolute core that you decide, I can't talk to another one. I can't talk to another one because it's going to keep reaffirming my self-worth. The way that you do it is you have your self-worth be determined by more than just these women. You have to be going out and doing things that you are proud of. So again, back to the positively, personally developing yourself. If I go out tonight, okay, and I get rejected by every single girl that I talk to, despite the fact that, yes, I am swimming in abundance right now, I have a harem of regulars, I can pretty much go out and meet women and sleep with them whenever I want to, but that isn't what I'm saying is going to, like, you might not have that right now, and that's okay. What you have to have is you have to be doing things that you are proud of, and so that way you are basing your self-worth off of what you're proud of. You know you're about 20 pounds overweight, and you have been for the last year and a half, two years. Maybe your entire life you've been overweight. You need to be losing weight to hold yourself to a higher esteem. To have a higher level of self-esteem, you need to be losing that weight. You've got this debt that you just keep getting calls about and letters in the mail, and you know that you need to start taking care of it, but you've been putting it off. You have to start taking care of that debt to feel better about yourself. You have to be sharpening your mind, becoming smarter, becoming a more intelligent man, focusing on elevating your status within your community and focusing on elevating your status within your family and within yourself. You need to be growing as a man and getting confidence, gaining confidence from what is within your control. You've been wanting to start a side hustle and you're not doing it. You have to start doing it. The more that you rack up, Tony Robbins says in his book, Awaken the Giant Within, Tony Robbins says that belief systems are a tabletop. If I believe I am good with women, then I can build the legs around the fact, the tabletop of I am good with women. I made that girl laugh yesterday. I got that number the other day. I slept with that girl the other day. I have a few girls that I know I could sleep with at any time. Those might be the legs to my tabletop that tell me that I'm good with women. Now, I could also take the opposite of that belief system and I could say I am not good with women. Those three girls that rejected me in a row at the grocery store yesterday. Um, the fact that I just lost one of my regulars. Um, the fact that you know, who knows, maybe tonight I'm going to text some girls to come over and they're all busy. So I can develop these other ta these other legs of the tabletop of the belief system. If you tell yourself you are a high value man, it's time to start creating the legs to the tabletop that you have value and hold yourself to a higher esteem. I'm losing weight. I'm in the gym regularly. I'm reading these books that are empowering my mind. I'm subscribed to the Evolution Daily YouTube channel, which leaves me absolutely no other option other than to grow as a man. Build the legs of these tabletops. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up now by, by summarizing these three points again. The formula to getting good at game and getting better with women is consistency plus positive personal development. Right now, you're not abiding by this formula because the rejections are absolutely destroying you. And three, the way that you stop the rejections from destroying you is by holding yourself to a higher esteem, developing a stronger foundation as a man by doing the things that you're proud of. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. It was absolutely worth risking all this camera equipment and the recorder that I'm now holding between my legs. Um, that's okay. You know, that's what I'm out here to do is just pretty much give my life to help you guys. So make sure you smash that subscribe button if you've yet to do so already. And go check out the brand new podcast available over on evolutiondaily.com forward slash podcast. Peace.